In 1944, Sprague Electric Company moved into North Adams, Massachusetts and began operation, becoming a leader in the design and manufacturing of electrical components. Sprague's productions resulted in many types of hazardous waste, which were subsequently dumped adjacent to their facility on the west end of town. In 1986, previous Sprague employees notified the Hoosick River Watershed Association about pools of toxic sludge found in the nearby communities as a result of the dumping. One of these toxic chemicals was trichloroethylene, which was primarily used as a degreasing solvent. This is the story of what happened. Trichloroethylene, more commonly known as TCE, is a solvent widely used for degreasing as part of cleaning mixtures and in adhesives. Before the adoption of the Clean Water Act, there were no restrictions on waste disposal for large industries such as Sprague, so hazardous waste, including TCE, was disposed of in an open dumping site. The real trouble began when TCE started to seep into the soil, contaminating the groundwater. Even after the passing of the Clean Water and Clean Air Acts and their multiple amendments, the waste site was neglected. In 1994, residents who lived in the Avon Street neighborhood all received frightening letters from the EPA notifying them that there was to be an air quality testing done in each of their homes. It was later discovered that the contaminated TCE-laden groundwater was resting beneath the Avon Street neighborhood and the chemical was vaporizing, causing toxic air pollution in the houses. Upon research, Many of the residents found that TCE could be extremely harmful to humans. Lab rat studies showed direct correlation to cancers, particularly in the liver and kidneys. Many of the community members were diagnosed with cancer. Lesser doses in humans were shown to be related to reproductive and developmental problems, impaired neurological function, autoimmune disease, and respiratory problems, including tumors. Jill Drummond, one of the community members at the time, remembers having developed an abnormal respiratory condition, although she had no previous medical problems and did not smoke. After a long and persistent effort by the neighborhood, Sprague finally settled and agreed to relocate the families living in contaminated houses. The buildings were then demolished. While this was an ending point for their story, it was not for TCE. The chemical still contaminates a large portion of groundwater on the west end of North Adams. Although moving slowly, this toxic plume is migrating towards an active well which supplies North Adams with water. It is currently being monitored, but if it does reach the well, the consequences could be devastating. Because it contaminates an aquifer underground, the TCE is nearly impossible to clean up. This could also pose more significant threats in the future whether just a few years down the road or a few generations. The problems associated with toxic water never just disappear.